a lot of holes of golf to play. Nice! How about we go somewhere special? No! Uh, know anything about airboats? No, I know they're loud. This week, Maurice and I are heading to a place known more for its beaches and parties. The Gulf of Miami has been around since the late 1800s. Miami, baby. And once again, we'll be traveling in style as Avis has hooked us up with another rental car for our 72 holes in 72 hours. Throw your phone under there and go. It's just that easy. Our first course is right around the corner from the airport, Miami Springs Golf Club. That was pretty nice. Miami Springs Golf and Country Club started in 1923. It had the Miami Open here for 30 years. Arnold had his first event here. So it has a tremendous amount of history. The sexy right. shit, I'm sexy all day anyway. What you like? And to help us with that history is a man who's been on this course since he was 17 months old, Eugene Clapp. All right, what do we got here? Par four uphill, 368. Back in 2009, this is the hole I made a hole in one of. And I mean, it's what, the hole in one and a double eagle? I mean, it's, it's two of the rare shots in one. That was pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna like that. I would say he hit that probably about 355. I don't think so. You think so now? I don't think so now, I just know so. Big difference, right? <laughs> there you go. This course was built in 1923. Okay. And it wasn't until 1949 when Miami Springs were desegregated. Okay. And down here, they had the North-South Tournament. And all your black golfers would come here and play. And this is why a lot of the older black golfers had an affinity for this course. This is a dog leg to the left. You play that puppy out there over the right side by those trees and bring it back in, you're gonna be on the green or you're gonna be in front of the green. That is a great shot on this hole. You, you, gonna, you gonna pay your caddy? I definitely will do that. I, I appreciate that. Ooh, give me some, give me some, woo! <laughs> woo! There it is. There it is. Oh, all right, man. And that's day one. I don't get a handshake. Oh, I don't get a handshake. You get a handshake and a handshake. I didn't come to my house no more. Oh, hey. I guess, oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like this crew, man. <laughs> Day one, we kind of took it easy, but day two, we're back in our Avis rental, heading to one of South Florida's nicest clubs for 36 holes at Turnberry Resort and Spa. Let's get round two going, Pops. Oh, feeling a little stiff, but we got a lot of holes of golf to play. I'm ready to go. Oh! You don't have to get ready if you stay ready, baby. He's literally so full of it, it actually blows my mind. What was that? The Robert Trent Jones Sr. was our original designer, and then Raymond Floyd did a redesign in 2006. Frank Sinatra would come here quite a bit. Dan Marino's a member. Michael Jordan we had for three years. All the Heat players are members here. Alonzo Mourning, Ray Allen, Dwayne Wade. Hello. Bye-bye. Miami is very well known for its beaches, which you found one of the smaller ones. <laughs> but what it's not known for is having a golf course legitimately in the middle of a city or a metropolitan area. And that's kind of the cool thing about this course. There you go, great birdie. Let's eat. With over 4,000 restaurants in Miami, it's not hard to find one. It's just hard to narrow it down. There's a lot of things in this neighborhood that you can't get anywhere else. We had the honor of meeting Peter Tooney, the godfather of the Wynwood Art District, which features inspiring painters, artists, and creatives alike in a one-of-a-kind destination that is unique to Miami. So this room you're in right here, this is the beginning of Wynwood. It started, they told, it happened in this room. This is the room where it happened. I came in here, there was nothing. There's no neighborhood. It's not like people lived here. This is just a blighted area of warehouses. And me, looking like this, driving around the neighborhood. So I came in here and I just started working. And I've been in this room for 14 years. And now the whole neighborhood has expanded. It's just like a 
fantasy land of art and creativity. If you're playing with me and you birdie 18 in the dark, you get this delivered to you and we write down here what shots you hit. So nice break, got some beautiful art, a little bit of the culture of Miami. How about we go back, play another 18 now? Yeah, that sofa course is looking real nice this morning. All right, can we dance? Ooh. From a scenic standpoint, what was one of the things that stuck out in your mind? Probably on the second 18, that first hole in the sofa course. I mean, the waterfall, you don't ever see waterfalls like that. To that degree, beautifully built like that, that was really special. It was a lot more water, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So that, that part made you have to use your imagination a little more. Oh! It was a little more penalizing for an errant shot, but it was good. Splash. It's crazy with all this water around that we didn't see one alligator. <laughs> I mean, we saw a ton of iguanas, which were kind of funky, each with different colors, and yeah, they scare me. They're, they don't look nice. <laughs> they're, they're sweethearts. But they were friendly. They're used to people for sure. There you go. This is exactly what people come to Florida for. This is everything around you. Palm trees, green grass, great weather, great golf, great food. There's nothing that you can do wrong in Florida this time of year. This is a really nice finishing hole. Like, how pretty. And look at the skyline behind us. There you go. Good putt. In the books. 54 holes down. Now it's time to switch sports. Highlight is a game that started in Spain in the 1400s, but the only place you can see it in the States professionally is Miami. Let's see how athletic Avery really is. We've got some cestas for you. If you're ready to try them on. Cestas? Basket is called a cesta, yes. It's like a big pirate's hand. <laughs> oh. Arg, matey. This All right, ready? Oh, that was a lot of steps. Yeah, oh. Not bad. <laughs> And it's not there. <laughs> oh, Jesus, how do you catch this thing? <laughs> hey! hey! You guys are ready for a real ball, right? No. No. Catch it! Hey, Amy, that's you. It's all you. Mucho! Woo! All you, 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 you. No! Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 Nice. Nice, Dad. Oh. I got too excited. Next point wins. Boy! You, 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 you. Grease! Oh, oh, What? We're good. 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 We're Last day in Miami and our final course takes us across the Rickenbacker Causeway to the Four Mile Island of Key Biscayne. Welcome to Crandon Golf. It's good to have you. The course is uh, very, very competitive, rated as the fifth most difficult public course in the state of Florida. 13 holes with water. Okay. Just one of the only courses in Miami that I can say you're not going to be hitting your ball into somebody's patio. This is really an island atmosphere which makes it even that much more enjoyable. This course was built back in 1972. Okay. And it was one of the biggest places that harvested coconuts in the United States before it became a golf course. Perfect shot. Oh! Fresh out the car with a drive like that? Look at how crazy that view is. Miami Skyline, can't beat it. Be right. Oh! Oh. oh! I thought that was in. I thought it was in. All right, 72nd hole. Perfect. So, a little life hack. T into the ponytail. Oh, baby! What's your favorite thing about this course? It's the views. Yeah. Skyline nature. There's a lot of things that people don't think about when they think about Miami and this has everything involved yeah. in it. My favorite part are the little cute iguanas. Except some are uh, 
If they're cute, why Biggie don't you try the home one? Well, because they're, they're not I that they cute. Were cute, and cute from afar. I call that a windy birdie. And that is a great birdie to end it. There it is. What a good 72 and 72. Loved it. We've had three days of food, fun, and golf, but it's not done yet. To finish this trip off, we're heading west on the original Alligator Alley for something that's been on my bucket list since I was a kid. So have you ever been on an airboat before? No, I know no? absolutely nothing about the Everglades, anything that we're doing today. You know anything about airboats? No, I know they're loud because I'm holding headphones. <laughs> This is a mother alligator. This is actually one of the most dangerous animals in the Everglades. If an alligator were to attack you, there's a really good chance it was a, probably a mother alligator. Everything out here is after her babies. She has to let everybody in the neighborhood here know that they're not welcome. Oh, it's big. Oh, he's big. Big boy. How old do you think he is? I would say between maybe 40, 50 years of age. 